Are you ready? These are like jazz songs. Think of John Coltrane or one of the other great jazz musicians because that's what I am in my form. Three, two, one. Riding my bike today, enjoying the sense of springtime, I remembered something from the springs of my youth. My father had a Cadillac. He took it for tune-ups and repairs to only one mechanic who he swore by. Ray the mechanic is how he was known in our home. A big, burly black guy, not with a smile nor a scowl. Ray had a technique or a technology that appealed to my father. You see, Ray used a stethoscope. When he listened to the engine's sounds with his trusty stethoscope against the valve covers of the great 50s Caddy V8, or on the engine block itself, my father's eyes would light up with a knowing satisfaction rarely seen these days. Ray the mechanic listened to the ticks and gurgles of that car engine with the intent and know-how of a cardiologist. His eyes turned inwards as if in meditation. My father so loved and trusted that engine, that car, that the mechanic was like a priest to him. Loyal to them both, he never traded either, keeping that Cadillac and that mechanic until his own heart failed him. I remember the summer of my father's death, the summer his heart stopped for good. The car stood still in the driveway of our little attached brick house, as if abandoned, looking for an owner who would never return. At the funeral, Ray the mechanic showed up, the only black in a crowd of white people. Approaching the casket to say goodbye, he placed his big black hands on the wood of woods, and for a moment his eyes turned inwards as if in meditation. That car is now long gone, junk probably, as are the men. Today we do not attach to our machines or tools or possessions that way. We discard, trade, give away, as fast as we can, the new design our hearts desire. Now I have no feelings one way or the other about holding on to things, but I did realize this while puffing and pumping my pedals today. We have been trained to discard possessions, to keep ourselves consuming, to maintain the G. DP. We have also learned to discard the intangibles of life. Wives, husbands, friends, neighborhoods, houses are all traded for a newer model. Here we have lost it all. For what does it profit a man who has gained the world and lost his soul, said a wise man thousands of years in the past? He may not have known of Ray the mechanic, nor of my father, nor of that 1955 Cadillac sedan, but today I would like to dedicate this program to them for their memories and for a time long gone. March 25th, 1997. Wow. Pretty good. Cracked me up.